Hey, what's up, everybody? Your boy LP. You know, just giving you guys some more LP talk. Another episode. I, I kind of just wanted to ramble a little bit about Halloween. It's a Halloween ramble here. I don't know if it's gonna be 15 seconds, 15 minutes, 15 hours. You know, definitely stay as long as you like. But you know, I'm just in, you know, it's in the Halloween mood, the spirit of Halloween, and I just kind of felt like you know rambling about it. Now, a lot of people, you know, celebrate Halloween. Of course, people like to dress up, have fun with it. You know, throw nice little costume parties. And, you know that, that 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 part of it, I'm I'm cool with, man. You know, some some scary movies. You know, I don't watch a lot of scary movies, but you know, especially not these days. I, I think the last the last of the best scary movies, in my opinion, is The Ring. And this includes you know Freddy and Jason and Michael Myers and all of them. But we're gonna get into that a little bit later. <laughs> but um, yeah, basically, I I like the spirit of Halloween. It says for the the scary and the fun part of it. Now you got some people that go a little overboard. Just in my personal opinion. They start the devil worshiping thing, and just I, I've known people that have just gotten a little bit too, just a little too crazy with it, man. It's too out there with it, and just, just I understand sometimes people have conspiracy theories and stuff like that. Or sometimes people don't even believe in the devil or believe in this, but some people even believe in ghosts. Believe it or not, I've, I've had people argue me down about that, but you know, when it comes to the the, the devil worshiping, it's just a little bit too much for me. Now, one of the first things that I think about in Halloween is somebody, some of y'all might think this is kind of silly or, or whatever, because Halloween is not just Halloween, it's also the season too, as far as the fall. I think the Charlie, the Charlie Brown uh, movie, the Charlie Brown Halloween special, I know it just might sound a little crazy, but if you really think about the special, it kind of um, signifies everything that goes on with Halloween and, and the fall at the same time. You got the leaves, you got them playing football, you got them trick-or-treating, and they, they kind of touch on every point. They, they give you a tick in every category as far as the fall and Halloween, and they, they kind of really give you the full grasp of, um, you know, just how, just, just the feel of Halloween and, and um and Ford. It's a combination of both. Just just in my personal opinion. I know Charlie Brown is not the most upbeat character. I know he's not Bugs Bunny. I know he's um one of the more duller characters, but but he still is a classic character. And all all of his specials, you know, are always um always on T V. I saw, actually I saw the Charlie Brown special today, to be honest. It's part of what made me think about it to be honest. And uh, you know it's definitely I didn't watch the whole thing because I was at work, but you know it definitely was um you know, it definitely was pretty good. Now Scary movies, scary movies. Um, scary movies I watched as a kid. I think it's more fun to talk about with, with a kid or what I was scared of as a kid. Okay, I believe it or not, I didn't watch a lot of Michael Myers. The scariest, the scary movies I used to watch a lot was Chucky, Jason, and Freddy. Those are the three guys I watched a lot. My personal opinion, on the low, probably the best scary movie ever created, as far as a combination of scary and um, intricate. As an effort in a movie, in a scary movie, I think you have to hands down give it to the ring. The first one. If you've ever seen the first ring, I mean, just, I right, just, uh, the, the play by play as far as, you know, just the intricate and the intelligence in it, you really can tell that these guys really put a lot of thought into this movie, man. <laughs> Even though it, it might not be like the scariest movie of all time, but, you know, it is, it does have its little bit of creepy parts, you know, especially when the girl's walking uh, towards the TV and stuff, but, um, just, you can even forget about that part and just watch the movie, man. Just, just very, very intelligent movie. But when I was a kid, the one that used to scare me the most was Freddy Krueger. I used to have nightmares about Freddy Krueger. I can even remember one of the Pacific nightmares I had. And I know this is kind of crazy. It's, it's funny what you remember, but I remember that um, Freddy Krueger had my mom. <laughs> had my mom and I, and I was like too scared to save her. But at the same time, I was going anyway. And by the time I tried to get to her, I don't know how I ended up here. Because, of course, you don't remember every speck of your dream. But I ended up outside, and he has my mom in like this, like this gack. I don't know if you ever heard of Nickelodeon gack, but it's like a, it's like a um, gack. It's kind of like sticky stuff a little bit, and it's slimy. Um, he kind of has my mom in this gack grip from a distance, hanging out of a window. Like it was just, it was just wild. But somehow I was able to get up there and save her. I don't know how before he let her drown. I mean, before he let her drop, I don't know what I said to him or something. But you know, yeah, but he just, he just gave me the most. Um, the most feared when I was a kid. Of course, I'm not scared of him now, you know, because I, I know he's a fictional character. A any fictional character doesn't scare me, really. The only thing that really scares me about about movies nowadays is maybe the images, because some of the images can be cre creepy. I don't know if you've seen Insidious. Uh, they have some pretty creepy images, you know what I mean? But uh, do they make me lose sleep? Nah. <laughs> no, I don't lose sleep over none of them. But um, back to when I was a kid. Now, Jason was more suspenseful for me. So after I finished watching a Jason movie, I was pretty much done. I didn't have any nightmares about that. But he was more uh, suspense and scary. You know, this guy, he's going around chasing people and, <laughs> you know, just uh, 
walking towards him, but at the same time, he's just as fast as people running. I, it's, it's kind of funny, especially when I got older. I kind of put this laughing a little bit, a little bit more at, at Jason. I remember one time this guy. I mean, he punched somebody. I don't know if it was a man or woman. I can't remember who it was, who it was but he punched somebody and made the head spin. I'm like, man, I remember when I seen that. I was like, what is Jason? Is he an alien? Is he a, he got superpowers? Is he human? Or is he, is he just a really, really strongest man in the world contest type of human? Like, who, who is this guy? You know, I don't, even, I don't think I've ever heard anyone ever define Jason. If you know who he, what he is as far as, you know, um, him having that ability to be able to do that, you know, put it in the comment section. Let me know. You know what I mean? <laughs> this net is bugging. But uh, now Chucky, when I was a kid, Chucky to me was um, just in my personal opinion. He was when I was a kid, I wasn't afraid of him because I'm like, it's a little doll. Like, what am I gonna be afraid of this little doll? Hey, he come up to me, I'm putting him like a football. <laughs> you know, that's that's an easy win for me. But what I what I didn't know as a kid though that I know now that Chucky actually has grown man strength. I did not know that. I honestly didn't. I had no idea. I didn't know that um, he had grown man stuff. That plays a little bit different role, you know. Maybe if I'd known he was that strong, maybe I probably maybe I'd have been a little bit more afraid of him as a kid. You know, he he was kind of like Jason in a sense where he would just sneak up on you and stuff. You know, get you with surprise attack. Well, he was more of a surprise attack opposed to. I mean, Jason would surprise you too, but you kind of knew he was coming. After a while, you knew it was coming. You knew it was inevitable that you was gonna get that work. So, but yeah, what? what but when I was a kid, um, you know, some Halloween costumes that I remember, um, I was down duck when I was like three or four years old. Matter of fact, I think my uncle still has a picture of me and my cousin and a down duck and Bugs Bunny outfit. Matter of fact, I'm sorry, I was Bugs Bunny and my cousin was down duck. I'm sorry. Um, as I got older, one of my favorite costumes, <laughs> which was created by my cousin Regina, shout out to her, love her to death. Um, I was Sean Kemp with a pencil through my head. Of course, the pencil was, you know, make believe or whatever, um, <laughs> was sticky, and it was crazy because that same um, that same year it's probably the best Halloween I ever had because my, my older cousin and um, her friend they did a good job of taking us all over the place. We went to all different types of neighborhoods, and it wasn't just me and and her kid, and my cousin Joanna. Um, it was it was me, Joanna, and some friends we had around the neighborhood. Some friends that, that me and her was um was real cool with. It was about you know six or seven of us as us as kids, and there's one part that sticks sticks out to me. I'll probably say this is probably the end of this video. <laughs> the one part that sticks out to me is um we was at this one house. I can't remember where the house was, but we was at this one house, and um you know the house they had tall bushes, and the tall bushes was like was was lined up in a row. And you had to pass these bushes to get to the door. <laughs> and it was just, you know, it was just so funny because, like, when we first got to it, you know, I, you know, me just got to be the brave heart out of all the kids. I, I'm not thinking nothing of it. So, you know, we walking along. They follow me scared to death. You know what I mean? And my, my, my older cousin, the one that took us in, and her friend, they just in the back. They back it they up. They're like, man, we, we don't want candy that bad. <laughs> <laughs> but not like they got any any candy anyway. They just snatched our candy up. But anyway, anyway so I'm, you know, I'm strong through there like like I'm He Man or something. And next thing I know, somebody goes across from one bush to the next, and like a vampire type outfit with an axe in his hand, just just ran across like real quick. But you could catch it, but it was quick. We was like, whoa. We was like, oh yo, what is that? <laughs> we was like, yo, what is that? And all, and all of our cousins and all the kids, they just ran, and it was kind of just. I think it was just me and my brother was kind of looking like, man, what the heck going on? And then he came back, but he didn't run across the other side of the <laughs> of the bush. He came back and stood stationary, like <laughs> this was really good because it was dark and we really and we just wasn't anticipating this. He came, he kind of stood like he came like right here, and then he turned like this, and yeah, we was like, oh snap! And as he was coming closer and closer, we all running back to the car. And it was funny because it was actually a kid. That was just, he was a little bit older than us, but it was a kid a little bit. But you could tell when he flipped the mask, it was a kid. We was like, oh, snap, man. It was crazy. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, we still was kind of scared to go to the door, man. We was like, man, are you the only one, man, or was it more of you? <laughs> He's like, nah, I'm the only one, man. You can go get some candy. <laughs> man, when he made that turn, that was, just, that was one of those moments. And another one of, and that same night, that same night, we went to another neighborhood. Um, it was, it was, 
it looked real like the designs on the house and everything as far as Halloween it was spectacular, you know, stupendous and impeccable. You can definitely get the Halloween feel when you're rolling up trying to get some candy. But at this particular house, there was like certain sections where you can get candy. So you didn't you didn't just grab one handful. You know, when you got done with this house, you know, this, this lady really wanted you to go to the dentist. You know what I mean? You had about five handfuls of candy. You know, um, but this one part, there was a casket. <laughs> there was a casket there. And it just, it was just so crazy, man. So we, you know, we're not really thinking nothing else. We don't think none of, none is in the casket, man. We're not even looking at it. And this guy, the casket's open though, and it, it, it just looks like a prop sitting there. It doesn't even look real. Like it doesn't look real at all. And it was some guy, some slender guy, maybe about five feet six, but he fits so perfect in the cast. Like, like you would, you would walk past it and you wouldn't even really think about it like that. Next thing I know, man, we walked past the, he just randomly picked us. I don't know why. He ran past the, the past the casket, <laughs> grabbed my cousin, my cousin, she screams out the top of her lungs like, I don't, like, she was on a roller coaster ride or something. It was crazy. I'm like, what the heck going on? Then he grabbed me by the leg, he gave me a leg grab, and I was like, oh, oh snap, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, scared the soul out of me, man, so that was just, uh, <laughs> that was awesome, man. Those, and those, those two houses was, um was the best of ones that I remember distinctively in my mind. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you want me to talk about random stuff or whatever, you know, just smash the like button for your boy or let me know in the comment section whatever you prefer. And um, I'll, I'll have more topics. You know, we got these lightings and we got um, we got this stage here. So, um, you know, I don't want, I didn't want to pay for it for nothing. So I just come up with random videos like this ever so often. This is your boy, Launchpad1412, and I'm out.